TotalTeamRoping.com. We can learn from this. When he headed, never got up out of his saddle. As we go back and watch it here in slow motion, you can see he's, anytime you sit down, it seems like you have a tendency for your swing to be up and your release point to be high. And when you do, you're going to hit up over the horns or just, just not clear the horns good. So you can see where his hand stops right here. It's not down toward the horns like it should be, and he is sitting down in the saddle. So your loop just flies in from high. You don't get to guide it and follow through all the way to the horns, and you, you just don't get a good result from that. It was always kind of watching trial and error. You'd watch Leo and Gerald and whoever was around, and you would trial and error it. So as I went along, I have my sawhorse, and I would always make my entries to it, imagining this is a... Right, it was just a little bit off. The more you can really pinpoint your spot, where he's not moving around. You're not gaining, you're not losing. Then it's just like roping that dummy, and you can rope the dummy all day long. TotalTeamRoping.com